We have a potential disaster brewing, folks. The chairman is looking to sell the club. Hello and welcome to part 22 of Back in the Borough. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode, we're away against Telford and away against Leamington as we try and push ourselves up back into the playoff picture. Since you were last with me, uh, yeah, I mean, those dames in particular, we don't have words about them, just... We did come back a little bit against lower stuff though and have put some smiles back on some faces. But more worrying than all of that, we're currently under transfer embargo. That's not a disaster in itself right now, unless it carries on into the summer. What is more of a worry is that the chairman is looking to sell and Lee Thorne, the chairman of this football club, is a hero who I have lots of video clips recorded with for throughout this save. If it, if it happens in game, we might just pretend it didn't happen. We all right with that? Deal? Good. So, so, football. We're playing Telford. We need a win. And this is the team we're putting out there to try and achieve exactly that. Um, we've got Linus in goal. A back four of Anderson, Akalani, Clark and Elliot. With Wheatley, George and Patterson in midfield. And then Nicholson in behind Tomlinson and Chambers. I've had a few people say in the comments, Kev, you're trying to force players into a system they don't fit in. Look at this tactical familiarity position thing for all of them. It's a complete disaster. Yes. I agree. That is what's happening. Um, it's almost as if we had a formation in mind at the start of the season, went on a run of defeats and it just didn't work. And we've had to swivel on the fly mid-season and go back to what we know. And it has rescued our season a little bit. Uh, I mean, a little bit. I mean, if we don't get into the playoffs this year, questions will start to be asked. But Hopefully, we find a way through. And Chambers is in and doesn't score with either opportunity. That was a clear-cut chance and a half chance, according to the stats. And he missed them both. We need to drag our way into the playoffs. And then, regardless of... I mean, regardless of where we finish. We're not getting sacked this year. That's the important thing. The board are looking for mid-table. The media are expecting mid-table. It seems, regardless of how much money we throw away on wages every year, and regardless of the calibre of player we bring in... The media and the board aren't expecting us to ever improve, which is a weird one, considering we have one of the highest wage budgets in the division. But we'll just keep plugging away in safety, knowing we're not getting fired, and have a bit of a rethink over the summer regardless, provided... Oh, that, is that off the crossbar? Provided we... Um, we have the opportunity to bring in players over the summer because if we're under transfer embargo all summer, imagine if we get promoted but stay under transfer embargo all summer. I mean, that's that's possibly the biggest disaster we could we could come under. That's worse than getting fired because that's pretty much a guaranteed relegation and then we might get fired. <sighs> it's worse than being fired because it might result in me being fired. Right, Nicholson finds Tomlinson. What a goal from Ben Tomlinson. We've released Elliot Rocker in the last few days because he's not played for us all season because of Tomlinson and Coombs. And Rocker was unhappy. He was on a month-to-month -month contract. So we just let him go. And there you go. That's that's why we let Elliot Rocker leave. Because Elliot Rocker couldn't do that. Rocker was good for us last year. Tomlinson is capable of doing that. He doesn't do it very often, mind. But he has got that in his in his toolbox I mean, even that doesn't... Oh, Jordan Nicholson. I know he was carrying a bit of a knock, but to have him go off injured is a problem. We have got Patterson, who can move further forward. I mean, it does actually make our midfield probably look a little bit more like players have played in midfield before. It's As, as I've said before, Jordan Nicholson, although he's a great player, might be the biggest curse of this save. Because as soon as we take him off, we look like a better team. Perhaps we just need to let him go. His contract's up this summer. We pay him an awful lot of money. Perhaps we just need to let Jordan Nicholson leave and bring, build a team that I want rather than still trying to force a team out of the two star players who were here when I arrived. Chambers and Nicholson. Perhaps, their time, perhaps the time is up for both of them. I've said this before. I said this this time last season and they're both still first names on the team sheet. Perhaps, perhaps I'm too close to this. Perhaps I need, perhaps I need Mike. 
off of my stream saves to come in and do the transfers for me. If you don't know who Mike is, you should be watching the stream saves. Don't worry, they're all available for replay here on the channel. That can keep you amused over the Christmas break while I'm not releasing as many videos. All right, Chambers is off, Coombs is on. We have now got neither of them on the pitch. We talked before about how we rely a little bit too much on those two players. Well, at the moment, neither of them are on the pitch, so we're not relying on them right now. Togwell's going to come on midfield. Just to shore things up a little bit in there, Mr. Tough Tackling Togwell. I mean, that's that's a nickname and a half. That's what he should be known as universally. Southport have dropped a point somewhere. I guess they've gone behind in a game they were drawing. So as it stands right now, we're only one point outside of the playoffs again. So hopefully we hold on, pick up a win in our next game and end the episode in the playoffs. Coombs is in and hits the post. We've had a lot of opportunities today and wasted an awful lot of them. That's a dangerous tackle from Salmons. He gets away with it, but the ball is bouncing around in the area. It's ended up in the back of the net. Has that been disallowed? It has been disallowed. I don't know what for, but I'm glad it was. I think it was possibly... I don't think there was an offside in there. You, you lot probably saw better than me um, or are in a position to rewind that I'm not in. Um, so you can let me know what that was for, but I think it was I think it was just a push on the keeper, maybe. Patterson, and it's in the keeper's hands. We've got a minute left to try and cling on to this narrow 1-0. It's not a situation I ever like to be in, but Wheatley now finds Coombs. Tomlinson's making a run, but we don't follow him. And who's that? Who is that? Number seven just didn't pay any attention to that ball going past him. If they'd have scored there, I'd have sacked him. Who is our number seven? I think it was Wheatley. I mean, that was just poor. He's supposed to be our defensive midfielder normally. I know he's playing box to box at the moment. But in that situation, you expect him to be closing people down. Importantly, though, it doesn't matter because we've won the game. Now we go into the match against Leamington at home. Oh, Southport managed to get back into their game. Where is it? Where is Southport on here? They must have been a late equaliser. But still, a win might be enough to drag us back into the playoffs for the end of the episode. It's like the game was listening. Is it time to put my money where my mouth is? So Nichols, he, is, he picked up an injury, by the way. He's only out for two games. But he's got three neg What are his negatives? What's up with you, Jordan? You big grumpy. Doesn't feel the previous chap went... Uh, oh, it sticks with him while he's injured. He's got a calf strain. He's one of our team leaders. I'm on his favoured personnel. He wants to commit his future to the club. He is our best player on paper. The problem comes with how much money he's on. Because he's pushing a thousand pounds. He wants over a grand. I mean, I feel like I'm doing this. Oh, should we do this? We're in the Conference North. Can we really be paying a player £52,000 a year? And apparently it wasn't even close to being enough for him. He might be making my mind up for me here because, I mean, look at this crazy amount. We're in financial trouble. Let's take him back down to there and say, look, you're not having any more than that. Let's see what happens. Possibly decision made. Just a minor tweak for the uh, Leamington game then. Elliot moves from right back up to the Cabriolero and Birch comes back in at right back because Birch is now fit. Nicholson is fit to play, but obviously, probably, potentially, maybe leaving. Ashley Chambers is also out of contract at the end of the season. We could have an opportunity for a clear out. I mean, Chambers is already on £1,000 a week. He's 30 years old. Regardless of where we finish this season, we might be having our most active summer of transfers that we've had. Um, Nicholson's playing his 175th game for the club today. I mean, that's that's a lot of games in the Conference North for a player who thinks he's worth, what, what did he want, 1.4 a week? So what's £1,400 a week? Can we just put some context on this? Jordan Nicholson, if you watch him, <laughs> um, you wanted £72,800 a year to play in the Conference North. Plus, you wanted a £10,000 signing on fee. Plus, what was it? £2,000 loyalty bonus and annual wage rises. Nobody, nobody should be earning close to six, th six figures playing in the Conference North. It should be illegal. It's robbery. 
No, Jordan, you're not having that kind of money. You're insane. You're, what, 26 now? You're not making it back to the Football League. You, this, it feels like Dale Southwell all over again, but a more extreme version of him because he's not as good as Southwell was and he's asking for more money than he was. But Dale Southwell, go back to is it two years of non-league to legend if you don't know who Dale Southwell was. But the more I think about it, the more Jordan Nicholson's upsetting me a bit here. 1.4 a week. I mean... Chambers has just got an equaliser for us. Of course, if we get promoted and Nicholson is the star of the promotion run, we'll probably give him the money. But surely in real life, no one's earning £75,000 a year playing in the Conference North. Because I just, I struggle to wrap my head around that. No wonder we're in financial difficulty. We, we'll have a look in a minute, once we get into the second half, what our attendance is. But I do wonder why the board keep giving me fifteen grand a week wage budget. Because we don't get very many fans. So where is, uh, I don't understand. Board, make some sensible decisions. I'm obviously not going to say, oh, well, I'll only spend five. Because that would be crazy. I'll spend whatever you give me. But on the flip side of that, let's live within our means. What is happening? These, these aren't words that I would normally say. But I think I needed... We'll, we'll, forever, in five years' time, we'll all look back on this and refer to it as the Jordan Nicholson moment. When Kev realised... Just how silly, just how silly some of the financial decisions made in non-league football are. We've got less than a thousand people watching this match. And what do you reckon? Eight quid to get into a Conference North game? Again, let me know down in the comments. Let's get an idea of how much it costs. But let's run the numbers during this second half. Let's say, let's be generous. Let's say it's a tenner. Don't even need a calculator for that. That means we're earning £10,000 a match from 21 home matches a year. That's £210,000 from gate receipts. Jordan Nicholson wants half of that. He wants half of what we earn from gate receipts to play for us. No more. We're going to be sensible. Tomlinson's just scored, by the way. Terrible piece of goalkeeping from the Leamington keeper, but we don't really care. Um, it doesn't move us up into the playoff spots because presumably Southport are winning as well. But we are reaching the business end of the season where we're just going to need to start winning consecutive games and winning and winning and winning and hoping that it's enough. Ideally, we can go into the playoffs if we make it there, go into the playoffs with a little bit of form and use that form to drag ourselves through them. But... Oy, oy, oy. Half of our gate receipts for one player. Oh, it troubles me. Gainsborough have moved above us now with that equaliser. Oh, I feel like I've made some poor decisions during the three seasons of this save. <laughs> we might do a reboot. We won't reboot the save, but we'll just... Right, this summer, we clear the decks, we start again, we build a new team... And we set some more realistic boundaries. That perhaps what we need is a new chairman. A new chairman to come in and say, Kev, you're getting eight grand a week and you're going to like it. Because eight grand a week is more than most clubs in the Conference North. Build a team for that. Get rid of these overpaid idiots who get a 6.2 and think they're worth £100,000 a year. Oh, Nicholson, I might just drop him. Oh, I'm so angry with him. So angry. Right. There you go. Three substitutions. Let's go and try and win this match. 20 minutes. <sighs> Patterson's had a great game, by the way. Patterson sat there thinking, well, I'm, I can play where Nicholson is playing. And look, I'm pretty good. I've got two assists playing deeper today. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if you move him on. I don't need his money. Just give me his opportunity. The lad who we had here last year, the youngster who was in for a year, never played and left, who had all that potential. I forget what his name was. He's probably looking at this thinking, well, I did say, I mean, I was on £200 a week. I could have played in Nicholson's position and done just as well as he does. Chambers is in and that goal or miss could be so crucial come the end of the season because we need to win games like this. Patterson with the cross. He wins it back again, finds George. It's a bit of a poor pass, but George with the chance to cross. Heaton's there and does score. It's 3-2 with six minutes to go. AJ George, in the end, did quite well. Made made more of Patterson's pass than probably was there. We'll watch the whole move again. This is, this is a treat. So Patterson really overhit that, massively overhit it. But George does create something from it and Heaton nods at him seven minutes left six minutes seven minutes left 
And now we've got a defender free kick. And they've played it short. The rascals, that shouldn't be allowed. We're in non-league. That is not fair. They've done a, they've practiced that. That's off the training ground. Look at this. It's all one. T That's disgusting. I am not standing for that. No conference North teams do not score goals like that. This game is pushing me too far today. Oh, right. Let's equalise. Uh, win, not win. Oh, we're not getting in the playoffs, are we? But at least I've had my epiphany and we'll have a team of £200 a week youngsters next year. It worked for Bath in non-league to legend. Let's single-handedly get this club promoted and save them from financial ruin. We're done with overpaid stars. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.